as a pilot really. Well, at the yeah, Louise is going in the left hand seat because yeah. she does air crew duties and Tom, who is the medic, he'll be leading on the medic, he'll be receiving the details of the job and the patient and what to do. So hence Louise is out there first doing her stuff, helping the pilot start the aircraft. And then when Tom, he'll be the medic down the back. Yeah. When he's got the full details of the job, and he'll be straight out. No, here we go. And here he comes. And also, he's bringing the blood. You see the red band yeah. that comes straight out of the. So you don't get left in the helicopter. No, because it's got to be kept at a certain temperature for it to be fresh. If that's no, what yeah. You call them. yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's bringing the blood back out. That's what Tom was saying. As you see, the engine starts yeah. as an APU, so yeah. the electrics are going, and then it engages with the gearbox Cheers. and starts engine yeah. two, and then away it goes. So they're using I think it's engine one as the auxiliary power unit at the moment. Yeah. Because you can hear the engine going, there's no rotor action. So the engine is disconnected from the gearbox. Yeah. So the one behind, as soon as the engine starts, you can. Yeah, because yeah, um, in pads though, I've seen this quite often now, take off. It's quite, uh, they've got like a rotor lock system on the aircraft, so. And on the back bit, you've got the, um, like, almost like a speaker, I think they said. Yeah, that's Sky yeah. We're, in fact, that, that was well supposed to be taken off in the last service that we did, but we wanted to save time, so it's still on. Yeah. But we reckon Sky Shout will come off on its next service. And so you're not going to use it anymore? It doesn't get used on the jobs we do because we're not generally in ground control. No, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Starts off loosely ground idle, so all, everything's working, hydraulics and yeah. things like that, but it's not putting the power to take off and then you'll hear it. Yeah, there you uh, go. I think that's still... That's low speed ground hurdle. So yeah. everything's working, but there's not enough yeah. to lift off them, and they've got everything okay. No, there you go. There you go. It engages into high speed, yeah. and now it's ready to go. Now, on the right hand side, you see, just as part of the takeoff checks, yeah. you see the white anti collision line come on. Yeah. And that means it's going to take off in about five seconds. That's what yeah, yeah. they do. And then and under the um, aircraft, the, light, the lights are coming down. Yeah. Also on the, on the wheels, there's bear paws as well, they call it. Yeah, they're called bear paws to stop it sinking in the sand. Yeah. Because if it, if it sinks on one side, the rotor blades come dangerously close yeah. to head height. No, another thing is that the, the wheels don't retract with them. Not at the moment, but we have got the kit yeah. that does make it retractable. Do you know and when that will come into use? So the white metal cars go on, so it's yeah, yeah. about 10 seconds to take off. The retractable stuff should be on its next servicing. It yeah. was due for this servicing, but it was one or two parts that didn't arrive with the rest of the kit. Yeah. So it's ready to go. We just wanted it back as quickly as possible. Yeah. We want to get the phase seven upgrades, but it's yeah. upgrade to retractable bear holes. Yeah, because it's been a good, almost like six months since it's last been here. For the short hops that we do here, it's generally yeah. not, it's not a deficit in any way. Yeah.
Okay.